Welcome back to another Yardi TV official news headlines. So people, a man was trapped to death and at least two others were injured early this morning along Redhills Road in St. Andrew. The deceased has been identified as Philip Bennett, a construction worker. According to his brother Stephen Smith, Bennett left his home around 7 o'clock to go to a shop to meet his spouse who was going to work. Smith further said that while at the shop, his brother was attacked by a man said to be of unsound mind with a machete. Smith sustained multiple injuries and subsequently succumbed. The head of the St. Andrew Police Division Superintendent Shakira Service said that the man was chasing a group of people along the roadway and managed to inflict wounds on three of them. Bennett died as a result of his injuries sustained. The attacker was later accosted by the police. A two-year-old girl and a man are dead following an attack by gunmen at Central Avenue in Sidham Villa, Spanish Town, St. Catherine this morning. They have been identified as Javan Parcel and two-year-old Alia Gilzini. After storming their house, the gunmen shot Mr. Parcel several times and then set the building on fire. The child's mother said the attackers identified themselves as police before entering the dwelling. She says her daughter fell from her hands behind the refrigerator as she fled the house. Yes, mommy, tell me to take place this morning. Then come and knock on the door and say a police. I'm telling him to open the door because I don't do so like police. No, no, God. <laughs> then they fling some tree with Nali the glass and come in there. And he grow in the next room right there, so I lock the door. I mean, take up the baby and run grow in there. I mean, I'd back at it. 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 <laughs> and the rest of them come down by him and shot him and when he, <laughs> he gone shot down out I clip them, then still a click it. <laughs> and then they come out of the room and come into the room here. Yeah. And then me start to smell some work. <laughs> so work. Me did the run of the room here. Yeah. <laughs> me run of the room here. Yeah. And me baby, me a try, me a try to come out in me baby and she chop out of me hand back of the fridge. She chop out of me hand. I me run go to do a catch better and come back in. Me come back in and I share a ball, mommy. I me couldn't see her. I couldn't see her. I me have to run and jump my mother's fence over her land. I me run go to woman in yard. I do a wide up and she not in there. I me take three come and go over her friend. I me just... I don't know. They kill him. It is understood that murder accused, 23-year-old Russian Barnett, had an incident at the halfway tree lockup with a police officer. Allegations are that Barnett was inside his cell when a female officer on duty saw a bulge in his waistband. It is alleged he was taken from the cell while being searched. A cell phone was found in his possession. According to allegations, Barnett became frantic and grabbed the female officer by her clothes. Other police allegedly intervened and freed the officer from his grasp. The allegations are that Barnett then picked up a bucket of water from his cell and threw it at the female officer. The situation was contained and Barnett was taken back to his cell. Barnett pleaded guilty in the home circuit court in July to the killing of Kimisha Wright and her four children in Cocoa Peace, Clarendon in June. 
the news team was informed that no additional charges were laid against him. He is slated to appear in the home circuit court again on September 22nd for sentencing. So people, leave your thoughts in the comment section and if you want to see the images of the incident where we spoke about pertaining to the two-year-old and the man that lost their life in the attack over there in Spanish Town, feel free to join the Telegram group or follow me on Twitter. Those two platforms is where I will be posting those videos. So don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel if this is your first time viewing and recommend this channel to a friend. It will be greatly appreciated. Until next time, peace.